Uh, they have been working on that. We'll see if it has any effect. Doing a little bit better with it so far. Good sharp jab by Hearns. It's not just a show me jab, it's a jab with intention. And there's a left hand, Hearns is down. Just like that. Three, four, five, and he is very unsteady. See how Lara plays this now. Long way to go. And Lara coming after him. And another left hand. And standing head count. Ropes held him up. Yeah. Hearns corner telling him, hold on. See if he can. Yeah, Lauren, right. Lauren very crafty. Another left hand. That's it. It's over. Just like that. Well, to say that that was impressive is an understatement. Got a little crazy in there, Barry, and, and Hearns remains flat on his back. So you heard someone yelling, respect, respect, yeah. respect. Respect the fallen warrior here. Yeah, exactly. They're keeping Hearns down. They will do this as a precaution. I mean, this has become the norm in boxing now, so we don't want to pass any judgment on how injured Hearns might or might not be, but they will tend to, and they'll keep him down until they're absolutely sure. Well, the worst sign, and, and I'm sure we'll see it again, but the worst sign is after the second knockdown, the referee three times asked Hearns, you okay, you want to continue? There was no response from Hearns, yeah. and the fight did continue. Yeah, it's true. Hearns corner, they were asking him, just hold on, clutch, grab, do whatever you have to do, just survive. He is up, and he's sitting on a stool, so that bodes well for Ronald Hearns. I mean, Laura just came out no nonsense. He did, and, and I mentioned in the in the um, behind the numbers that his left hand is his only weapon. Well, when you have results with your only weapon like that, you don't really need a second weapon or a plan B. He landed a left hand, and Ronald Hearns, who had been down, let me see, I have my notes here, uh, five times at least that we know of, including three on Showbox in the loss to Yorgi. He just, he wasn't here tonight. He no resistance whatsoever. Yeah, he had no answer for that left hand. And we talked about the fact that he had a tendency to drop his left hand, which really would leave the right hand of Lara open for him. Uh, but it was the left hand that did the damage. And Hearns, no excuses tonight. And, and Lara just came out ready to fight. And uh, you have to really uh, you have to wrap up Tom, uh, Ronald Hearns' career here. I mean, you know, he's, he had a title shot last time. And now this. And... Uh, there's really, there's no future for him. All right, once more, let's make it official. We go to the center of the ring once more, and the ring announcer, Joe Antonacci. Joe. Boxing fans, the time, one minute and 34 seconds of round number one. Your referee, Keith Hughes, calls a halt to the contest. Your winner by TKO, known as El Oro de Guantanamo. Punisher, Aries Landi Lada. Well, I would have to think Steve, it puts him right smack dab in the middle of the picture. Yeah, I think he was there already, but uh, yeah, he's, he's certainly, I mean, he, he was ready for a title fight. The Paul Williams fight proved that. Yeah, that was a joke. And this, uh, this was a, a subpar Ronald Hearns, who offered no resistance. It's good because Lara occasionally is too patient, occasionally lets his fights go where he gets a little out hustled. And this is the, the, the framework that we're looking at for, for Lara. You see, I have him rated number three. The division is getting a lot better in a hurry. Cotto's still on top, but we know he'll be the underdog when he defends against Floyd Mayweather on May 5th. And Mayweather not in these ratings because he'll be moving up from welterweight. But a lot of fresh faces here. Canelo Alvarez, only 21 years old. Molina seems to give everybody trouble. He drew with Lara. And Trout is beginning to emerge. Marta Rosian still hasn't made his move. So a lot of good fighters here, a lot of good U.S. fighters here, some undefeated fighters. And Lara clearly deserves a title fight. Uh, whether he gets one and whether he has to be a mandatory or whether he gets a voluntary 
uh, remains to be seen. Yeah, but certainly right in the middle of it right now with this win. I mean, there's there's no criticism whatsoever that you can have of what he did here tonight. And of course, everybody in and around boxing, with the exception of the two judges who scored that fight for Paul Williams, know that Lara really, in fact, won that fight. Exactly right. Let's take a look back on, on what happened. And uh, what happened happened in a minute and 30 seconds. Very first round, Lara going to the body early. He was effective there, and it was really over for all the 10. And I, I think a key here is we, Ronald Jones hadn't fought southpaws. He was accompanied into the ring by Andy Lee, interestingly, who he sparred with, and Andy Lee will be fighting Chavez for the middle WBC middleweight title. But Kearns didn't look comfortable. He never really let a right hand go in anger. There's one that missed by two feet. And Lara, because he's a much longer fighter than he looks, was able to reach Hearns with that left hand, really pretty much at will. Yeah, Hearns did not score with a power punch at all in the fight. Lara, on the other hand, 10 of 13. And you're going to see the knockdown momentarily. It happens very quickly and very suddenly. Just a good, solid left hand, nothing fluke about it. What do you see there? I mean, that's Three, as good as it gets. Three, four, five, and you six, could see his legs were shot even right there. And Hearns right there, as the ref waved him back, Hearns looked to his corner. That was a look of desperation. Yeah, and that was when his corner was saying, clutch, grab, hold on. There the ropes kept him up. Again, looking to the corner. Right now, this is a lost fighter. And it did not take long to end. The two left hands over. Well stopped. Hearns offered nothing in return. It was all Lara from the opening bell. And the fight was over in a minute and a half. And we never... All right, this is the first knockdown. You see what happened. Barry, you couldn't have put it better yourself. Hearns with a lazy jab. You said that he jabs from his hip, but he brings his jab back. Look at the jab. It doesn't come back. Lara, who's great at timing it. We saw it with Paul Williams many times. He lands that left hand as a counterpunch, and Hearns got what he invited Lara to take there. And now, again, Hearns looks to his corner. Now watch how this left hand sends him, drives him into the ropes. Would he have fallen down without the ropes there? Uh, most definitely. So Keith Hughes made a good call here. And unfortunately for Hearns, the fight continues. Yeah, he came off the ropes and walked right into that left hand. Just bounced off the ropes into that left hand. Here it is. Boom. Yeah, it's amazing he stood and took that punch. And it didn't take long for Lara to finish it, proving that he's a pretty good finisher also. And right here, the referee is saying, do you want to continue? Are you OK? There was really no response. I'm surprised the referee allowed him to suffer this third knockdown because there was no response. Two more left hands, and the fight was over and stopped and well stopped. And an impressive victory. It's all you can say. I mean, you can't even look at the opposition. You just have to look at 